Okay, welcome to all. In continuation with the previous class, we are going to solve some of the problems on inventory management. Coming to the question number 8, this is the problem on multi price breaks, also related to quantity discounts. First, read the given problem and try to write down the given data. First, observe, find the optimum order quantity for the following price break inventory problem. Annual demand value is given annual demand value is, is equal to 200 units. Symbolically, we can represent annual demand as first put heading given data. So, annual demand value is given as 200 units. Therefore, given data is Capital D is nothing but the annual demand is equal to 200 units per year. Next, what is the next sentence? Inventory carrying cost is 25 percentage. If the given value is in percentage form means blindly you can understand I value is given that is I is equal to 25 percentage. 25 means 25 by 100 is nothing but the point 0.25. Next, ordering cost is 20 rupees per order. Symbolically, we can represent ordering cost as C0. C0, C0 is equal to 20 rupees per order. Okay. Next. Uh, next is quantity discounts. Suppose uh, some data is given between quantity and price that means price breaks. Which price breaks? Multi price break. In the previous case we have solved one problem on single price break. Here the variety of this problem is multi price break. So what is the given data? Quantity and price, price represented in rupees. If the quantity lies between 0 to 49 means its cost price is 10 rupees. So let us write 0 to this quantity assumed as Q1 between 0 and less than 50 means 49. If the purchase order quantity lies between 0 and 49, the corresponding price is equal to 10 rupees. Let us assume this is represented as C1. C1. Price at this quantity Q1. C1 is the cost price at this quantity Q1. This is the range. Next, second break. Uh, in second break, 50 is the minimum. 50 is less than or equal to Q is less than 100 means second quantity that means Q2. Q2. What is the range for Q2? Starts with 50. Okay. Starts with 50. And less than 100 means 99. Up to 99. This price is uh, less price. 9 rupees. That is equal to C2. C2. This is the second price. Second price break. Next to coming to the loss range. 100 is less than or equal to Q. Is same as that of Q1. 
is greater than or equal to 100. Both are same. Both are give same meaning. Minimum order quantity must be 100. At least 100 or more than 100. So, this range is 100 Q3 So, more than 100. So, we can also write third quantity Q3 is greater than or equal to 100. Now, cost price is equal to 8 rupees. Let us assume this is C3. C3. Next, from this data, we can observe that if the quantity purchased increases, its cost price is decreasing. In real situations, real practical situations, this is possible. When we purchase huge quantities, usually we will get discounts from the supplier or vendor. So, this is a realistic problem. Problem on quantity discounts or multiple price break. Here, where is the break quantity? Where it breaks? There are two breaks. One is 50 quantity, second one is the 100 quantity. Therefore, let us assume B1 is equal to first break. First break is at 50 units. Okay, 50 units. Second break B means break, break quantity. B2 is equal to 100, 100 units. Let us assume B1 and B2. Let us assume B1 is equal to 50 units, B2 is equal to 100 units. We have written all the given data. Next, how to solve this problem? What is the first step? First step is step 1. First step is calculate. Calculate Q3 star. What do you mean by Q3 star? Q3 star means optimum ordering quantity at the lowest price. Always you can start this problem with the lowest cost. C3 to C1. You can move from bottom to top, not from top to bottom. Therefore, suppose if all units are purchased, calculate optimum ordering quantity. Therefore, Q3 star. Star indicates optimum. Therefore, we know the formula for Q. Everybody knows that is 2 into D into C0 divided by C into I. C. Here C means C into I. There are three types of costs C1, C2, C3. Here which one is the which price? In place of C, we are going to assume C3, C3. Because this Q3 lies within this range. Therefore, 2D C0 divided by C3 into I. Substitute all the given values. We know the D value, we know the C0 value, we know the C3 value, we know the I value. So, after substitution, we will get 63 units. Q3 star is equal to 63 units. Okay. Now, this obtained Q3 star lies within the range or not? Please check. Observe. Here Q3 star, Q3 range is at least 100 or more than 100. Means, here obtained value is not within the range. Okay, na? not within the range. That means, this obtained value is less than 100. 100 is the minimum value. Therefore, 
write one sentence since q3 star is not within the range within the range within the range therefore move to the step 2 move to the step 2 what is the step 2 step 2 is calculate calculate q2 star instead of q3 star earlier we have started with q3 star now we are moving to the q2 star so this range q2 star calculate q2 star optimum ordering quantity at this range q3 q2 star is equal to we know the formula 2 into d into c not divided by this corresponding price is known as c2 into i every value we know simply after substitution you will get ok please verify this answer q2 star is equal to 60 units 60 units that means you can observe this obtained value is it lies between within the range or not observe here 50 q2 lies between 50 and 99 our obtained value also lies within this range therefore satisfied satisfied if it is satisfied means no need to go to the next step that means step 3 you no need to calculate q1 star ok now this is an important observation if the uh, quantity lies within the range means you can stop this problem up to this range if not lies within the range means move to the next step that means q1 star for this problem no need to calculate q1 star stop here ok 60 units now what is the next step now after calculating q2 star so q2 star lies within the range write one comment since q2 star lies within the range range hence calculate total cost at a satisfied quantity that means q2 star calculate total cost at a q2 star everybody knows that what is the formula for uh, total cost total material cost that means c into d in place of c which one which c comes so this range 60 range belongs to c2 range therefore c2 into i plus total carrying cost in place of q substitute q2 star q2 by 2 into cc cc means c into i again c means c2 into i this is the total carrying cost plus total ordering cost which is nothing but the d by q2 star into c naught all the values we know simply substitute all the given values and you will get answer the answer it becomes
So Tc Q star is equal to 1934.16 rupees. This is the answer. After calculation of Tc Q2 star, also calculate, also calculate Tc at the break quantity. There are two breaks, V1 and V2. Both quantities you can calculate total cost. TCB1. TCB1. What is the formula? Similar manner you can move. B1. B1. Where is B1? Here up to 49. B1 starts from this range. Therefore, C2 into I. 50 range is 9. 9. C2 into I plus. Uh, Instead of Q, substitute B1 divided by 2, B1 divided by 2 into CC. CC means C into I, same, C2 into I. In both places is same. Plus, ordering co uh, cost, total ordering cost. Ordering cost means D by B1 into C0. C0. After substitution of all the values, you will get you will get nineteen thirty six point two five. This is the answer. After substitution, you will get this much answer. Total cost rate of B one. Okay. And, and also calculate total cost at B2, another break, B1 is 50, B2 is 100. So in similar manner you can move, write the formula, what is that formula? C into I, C into I means B2 is 100 range is false like within this range, therefore use C3, C3, C3 into I plus B2 by 2 into C3 into I, C3 into I plus T by B2 into C0, C0 that is equal to after substitution of all the values you will get rupees 1740 1740 1740 uh, finally we are going to compare all the three costs which cost is uh, having lowest value so tc b2 is the lowest value next highest is 1934 goes to total cost rate to q2 star and finally tc b1 is the highest write one sentence since tc which one is lowest b2 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 means 100 is less than is less than tc tc q2 star is less than last one total cost at uh, this is b1 b1 okay for b2 quantity total cost is minimum therefore optimum optimum as per the question find the optimum order quantity therefore optimum order quantity denoted by the symbol q naught is equal to 
first this is the b2 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 is equal to how much break quantity b1 is equal to 50 b2 is equal to 100 units so this is the final answer final answer okay welcome to all in continuation with the previous class I am going to explain about two problems on inventory management. Next, coming to the problem number nine. First of all, read the given question and try to write down the given data. First, a contractor has to supply 10,000 bearings per day to an automobile manufacturer. From this sentence, we can observe that given value, that means 10,000 bearings per day, is nothing but the consumption rate or demand consumption rate or demand per day so symbolically we assumed it as small d given data is small d consumption per day 10,000 bearings here item is bearing bearings per day so we have to calculate annual demand annual means per year per day we know 10,000 bearings what is the annual demand annual demand is represented by capital D is equal to per day consumption is D into clearly given how many working days in a year there are 300 days in the year you can observe at the end of the problem assume 300 days in the year what about 365 days? 300 means actual working days are the 300 days. Remaining days, that means 65 days. Maybe holidays. That's why he clearly mentioned in the problem. So consider 300 only. If he given value means, number of the working days means, uh, we have to uh, take that value given data. If not given, if not mentioned about this, assume 365 days, otherwise take 300 days. Okay, now this is the important note. Observe in the entire problem if you give some number of days, working days in a year means you have to take the, that much number of days. Therefore, the annual demand is equal to per day consumption small d into 300 300 that is equal to how much thirty lakhs thirty lakhs Four, five, six, five, six. Yes. Annual demand is thirty lakhs. Next, read some more sentence. He finds that when he starts a production run, he can produce twenty five thousand bearings per day. So this is the problem on economic batch quantity known as EBQ. It comes under production model. In this model, there are two symbols. One is consumption rate. Consumption rate represented by the symbol small d. Another one is the production rate represented by the symbol small p. P means production rate that value given as 
per day observe unit of time here day per day is given small d is also represented in day per day small p is also represented in per day this is the consumption rate this is the production rate okay uh, next next sentence read the next sentence the cost of holding a bearing in stock for one year is 2 rupees that means cc value cc means carrying cost value is given as in rupees he has given that is 2 rupees per unit unit means bearing you can also write bearing 2 rupees per bearing, one bearing. Instead of item, write bearing per year, for entire year. So, in the given problem, if you mention day means first convert it into year. For entire one year, we need CC value should be rupees per unit. Here, unit means bearings per year not day not month only year okay so cc value is given as 2 rupees per bearing per year hmm. next move to the next sentence and setup cost of production run is 180 rupees setup cost is indico indicated by the symbol cs 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 means setup cost that is equal to rupees 180 per setup 180 per set in each setup cost is same fixed that is 180 in real practice that may be varying but this is the ideal case ideal case now read next sentence how frequently should production run be made the meaning is small t is equal to how much small t how frequently we are going to produce each batch that is the question so Symbolically, we can represent it as T. T is equal to how much? We know the formula already derived. T is equal to T is nothing but the how frequently should production run be made. That means frequency of production. Frequency of production. Represented by the symbol small t, small t is equal to q star. Q star means economic batch quantity divided by annual demand. If we write capital D means what is the time unit? This time unit may be years. If we write small d means small d q by small d means we will get in days we will get in days therefore first of all calculate q star calculate q star now q star q star means economic batch quantity q star is equal to we know the formula 2 into d into instead of c naught cs 
divided by cc into 1 minus this is 1 d by p 1 minus d by p this is under square root this is the formula for economic batch quantity first observe we know the uh, d value we know the cs value okay we know the cs value we know the cc value we know the d small d and the small p so simply substitute all the uh, given values all the given values so it, it becomes so this value becomes 30000 bearings so economic batch quantity is 30000 bearings when he start production run how many quantity we are going to produce 30000 bearings this is the economic batch quantity okay after finding out q star value now you can substitute in this place now we can easily calculate frequency of production q star divided by d we, we are considering small d is represented in days therefore we will get time unit is days days So answer is 3 days, for every 3 days we are going to start the manufacturing, manufacturing, for every 3 days we are going to manufacture a product, this is the frequency of production. For every 3 days we are going to start the production operations so this is the frequency of production 3 days next observe the next question next question is also find production run time production run time production run time means it is nothing but the production time production time symbolically production time production time is denoted by the symbol tp tp what is the formula here small t is equal to q by d so in place of tp production time q star is same same this is the same divided by instead of consumption rate substitute production rate production rate q by t is nothing but the production time where is the difference denominator is different denominator production time means denominator substitute p value in place of frequency of production substitute small d value consumption rate therefore this value becomes after substitution it becomes here p is represented in uh, days therefore unit value time unit value is days days how many days One point two days. One point two days. When he starts the production, we are continuing with the one point two days. That means approximately one day. One day. 
This is about the production run time. Okay, production time is 1.2 days. This is the answer. Next, last question. What is the total variable cost? What do you mean by total variable cost? Variable cost is nothing but the inventory cost, known as optimum inventory cost. So, symbolically, we can represent variable cost as C minimum. C minimum. Uh, there are two types of costs. One is total carrying cost represented by the symbol Q by 2 into CC to 1 minus D by P. This is total carrying cost plus total ordering cost. That means D by Q star into CS. CS. This is the formula for total variable cost. So, now every value we know. Q star already determined. What is that value? Q star 30,000. Q star is equal to 30,000. CC value. How much? CC value also we know. Two rupees per bearing per year. Okay. okay. We know the Q star value, CC value, D value, P value, everything we know. Therefore, after substituting after substitution of all the values you will get this is uh, this answer that is 180000 this is the total variable cost okay